Hey guys, it is Kelly Kellner here, host of Game Changers, coming to you for Thursday, May 23rd. Interesting night last night in baseball. We broke even last night. We only had three games. It wasn't a big day. We got a postponement in that Angels-Minnesota game. Boy, I was looking forward to that game last night. We split the two games, the Detroit game. We handicapped it right. We saw the pitching matchup. We saw Detroit score a run in the first, the second, and the third inning. Everything was going great. They were up three runs until the sixth, and then they ran into pitching problems. And uh, they, gave up, uh, they gave up seven runs over the uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth inning. Uh, we were definitely on the right side. We might start looking at some of these pitching matches taking first five inning bets, but uh, unfortunately that was a loser. But we got a great winner in the Boston Red Sox last night. That was a hell of a game. Uh, they were up 4-3. Uh, Toronto tied it up up in the uh, bottom of the ninth. Anyways, we ended up winning in the 13th inning, so we got that one for a total split yesterday. And now, guys, let's get into today. We got we had a big, exciting night here, so let's go to the notes here, guys, and uh, see what we can see about the NBA. We got game five of the Eastern Conference Finals tonight. Toronto is traveling into Milwaukee after a phenomenal performance in game four. This series is now tied up, so it's down to a best of three. And we've really looked at what the situation is going to be on how we're going to make some money on this game. Now, the defensive strategy that the Raptors used in game four really worked well. They were able to shut down a very potent offense. They were able to target and, and, and defend so well. And if they can keep that strategy going tonight, they're going to have a chance. Now, are they going to win this game? Oh, boy, I'd sure love to say I think so. I want to deep down in my heart. Emotionally, I would like to. But emotion doesn't put money in your wallet or in your uh, sports betting account. But here's the thing. The line on this is seven points. I think the line even might even move to seven and a half or eight closer to the game. I think that's too many points in any playoff game series and game this deep into the playoffs seven points is too many to lay uh, so we're going to take uh, a two unit play tonight we're not going to bet heavy on it but we got to get some action on this game i'm staying off the first half i just think that's a, a coin flip so guys if you want to bet it and cheer go go for it um, my recommendation if you wanted to do something to try and make some money is take Toronto Moneyline first half. But our only Game Changers play today is going to be taking two units on the Toronto, Ra Toronto Raptors plus seven points. And let's get together. Let's send them all our energy from Canada and hope they come through and do it. I'd love to see them to go to the finals. What a series that would be against Golden State, hey? Oh, man. Let's, uh, let's hope that's all we can do. So let's get into baseball. Now, we split yesterday. Today, we have three outstanding games. I really, really like these games. I'm going to hook these up. I'm going to play a round robin or a parlay. I'm going to throw that Toronto plus seven in there. But the first game I really, really like is this Red Sox-Toronto series. Now, uh, Boston uh, gave, up, uh, gave up the second game of the series. They came back in the 13th inning. inning. They won for us last night. We have Weber versus Clayton Richard. Now, Weber for Boston, he hasn't got a decision yet this year. He's 0-0, but he's got a 1.13 ERA. I like this kid. The kid's got, uh, the kid's got some game. And uh, so I really, really like him in this start. Now, for Toronto, they're going with their acquisition in Clayton Richard. This is his first start for the Toronto Blue Jays. They acquired him from San San Diego. I had a 5.45 ERA last year. Uh, he's got a little history. Uh, he's 1-0 against the Red Sox with a 3.00 ERA. Uh, is that going to be enough? I don't think so. I think that Boston is going to prove that they are a superior team. They're going to take this series. They are going to take this game, and I think they're going to do it quite handily. Very early start on this game. It was a late one last night. Uh, so uh, let's look at the numbers on this game. Boston is minus 140. We're going to take that for three units. I also believe that the Boston bats are going to ring big time. So we're going to jump on this minus one and a half line. It's plus 106, and we're going to put two units on that. So we've got a total of five units on the game. I think that's going to do pretty well for us. Second series we're going to take a look at in the second game is the Phillies at the Cubs. The Cubs have won the last two. I've said this before, 
rarely do teams sweep. And when you've got power teams like Philly and the Cubs uh, playing together, they're going to play some very competitive games. We've got Nola pitching for the Phillies tonight. He's 4-0, or sorry, this, this afternoon. Everything's said uh, during the day today. 4-0 uh, against Lester, 3-2. and two. Lester's a hell of a pitcher, uh, but so is Nola. He's undefeated this year. I like getting on that trend. We're getting plus money in the plus 112 plus the Phillies today. We're going to take that game for three units. And then the game that I was hoping to see last night, the Minnesota uh, Twins at the Angels. Uh, we're going to come back. They've got Perez going. He's six and one for the uh, uh, for the Twins. Harvey, who's two and three this year for the Angels. This is a spot that I think Minnesota is going to continue. They have been they have been dominant. They have just been playing such quality ball. I'm excited to see this game uh, tonight. The line is minus 136 on Minnesota. We're going to play that for three units only. Uh, the minus one and a half line I'm going to stay away from because I think this is going to be a close game. Because Minnesota is on the road, the minus one and a half line only gives us something like plus 105. And it's just not enough additional value to risk. So let's put our money on laying that juice on minus 136. Remembering, guys, that if you're not getting the lines that we're talking about, you're not betting with the right sports book. So make sure you reach out to us or go to gamechangers.ca, click the link for Pinnacle Sports. That is the best of the best of the best of lines out there in the world today. Uh, if you're looking for ease of deposits and withdrawals, we've got a link to sports interaction. You're going to pay a little more juice, but you can uh, e-transfer uh, e money in. The next business day, e-transfer money out when you win, when you follow our plays. So that might be a good option for you as well. Or send us a message if you're looking for other things. We've got a lot of consultants waiting to come and help you guys make sure you're getting the best betting edge that's out there. And we are going to rock and roll on this, guys. Um, one other thing I want you to check, go to gamechangers.ca in the blog section. Uh, Brad, the golf guru, guru Gleason, that's a mouthful to say. Brad Gleason, who is our golf handicapper, has been absolutely on fire for the last five, six weeks. He's got picks for the Colonial this weekend, some great long shot golf bets. Uh, so look at some of the match play. That makes it really entertaining when you're watching the PGA, guys. So again, Kelly Kellner here. Thanks for joining us. And we're going to see you tomorrow.